Hi guys, Antoine here, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new MF3 RS from Mofang Jiaoshi. To begin, I'd just like to say that this cube is part of the Cuban Classroom series, um, all budget speed cubes. So this per this one is uh, five dollars right now on the Cubicle.us, and for its price, I would say that this is an excellent speed cube. So it has quite a smooth feel to it, although there's a tiny bit of clicking. Um, it's also uh, very fast, especially once it's lubed. Out of the box, it's not amazingly fast, uh, but now I have lubed mine with uh, DNM37, which is an experimental lube that they're trying out at uh, Cubicle Labs. Hopefully that will be out soon. Um, it seemed to work very well on this cube. As you can see, it's nice and fast. Um, it also corner cuts quite well, especially for a cube like this. As you can see, it corner cuts 45 quite well. And wow. <laughs> okay, it reverse cuts like, oh wait, did it corner cut or reverse cut? Anyway, okay, so it corner cut it. Wow, okay. Anyways, as you can see, that is quite amazing for corner cutting. It does sometime get, sometimes get jammed up like that, or like this. Uh, usually it does go through if you put enough force to it. So it does have a pretty nice feel, except um, some issues that I've had with this cube is catching. So as you have seen, it does sometimes get in certain, situa certain situations where it will not want to turn very well. Like if I mix it up and solve it, hopefully, oh like right here. As you can see, the piece caught on the center, and that does happen from time to time, which is, in my opinion, uh, the worst issue on this cube. Um, I also find that the cube isn't super springy. It does have nice corner cutting and is, it corner cuts very easily like this, although, yeah, it does. Huh. But sometimes it does catch nonetheless and you have to put a lot of force into it and then it'll just catch more and you have to like be a little lighter on the cube. So overall, as you have seen, it has a great performance for its price point. $5 is definitely a reasonable price for this cube. It even looks kind of cool, as you can see, and I would recommend this cube for its price. If you want to see uh, more action on this cube, I will have some solves at the end of the video, and the next Saturday Subworld Record will be on this cube. I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time.